another generator, I got it to work. And the reason why I got it to work is I had to set the governor a little bit better. But I think the main reason that it wouldn't charge is I had it set to 30 amps. And of course, it's a 20 amp connection at that plug. Which, so I've turned it down to 20 amps. And uh, it's been charging for a few minutes here. Drops it down to 115 volts. And I'm up to almost 62 hertz, but I don't want to bring it down anymore just yet. So I think what I gotta figure out here is when I want to use it, exactly how many amps I want it to draw. Once I turn the inverter down to 20 amps input, it uh, charges without stalling. It would run. It would charge before at 30 amps, and then it would just die out like the motor was gutless. So, so it was my fault. I didn't set it right. I mean, you can only get so much out of these things. I expect a lot out of them, but you know, you don't get everything you want. 20 amps there now. It's running and charging. Not bad. Live and learn, eh? We all gotta learn how to do these things every time. 20 amps, yep. Yeah. We run from 90 to 125, I think, what's the, the manual says. Hurts are a little high, but if it's not going to stall out, I'm just going to let it sit there work away. Yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, I just saw it. While I was out here, I'd go over this uh, Valance battery program they have. I've scanned my system and I found my four batteries, 15, 14, 15, and 16. So I will if we can oh I guess I better tell that it now first battery info and then we're gonna go well we'll use 15 we'll start to read there and there we have it not too far out of whack balance is inactive because it's not far enough out or not high enough voltage yet. Let's see, we use a uh, 16, we'll try 16. Oh, I gotta stop the read and then start the read. There we go, so I'll spread is 5 and 6. It looks like it's charging pretty good. Stop the read. Go back, we'll go up to 13. Yeah, it spreads even less on that one, so. Maybe it's 10. Thought I would charge this from the wall for a while so I got my cord plugged in over it just in on the grid for now so once I get caught up here and see what the bat if it'll balance supposedly has to be hooked up and reading like that the cable I I built to go into these balance batteries and then these revision ones are really tricky There's, this isn't even supposed to work on a revision one but looks like it's working fine to me and the balance does work because I used it to balance all the batteries a little year ago when I got them but I haven't had them hooked up in a 48 volt system yet so 
That's what we're gonna do. So, I don't know. I guess we'll leave it right there for a while. Anyway, I'll get back after when it hits the top a little bit. A couple more volts. 